Hi guys, всем привет! Welcome to my kitchen, Alice Yummy Food, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna show you in this episode how to make blackberry zephyr. Zephyr is a delicious Russian Baltic uh, marshmallow slash meringue sort of bun. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it any better. It's like a sweet that we have a lot and it's really really popular. I love it so much and I absolutely love this flavor because blackberry really really comes through and it's one of my favorites. I know that you're gonna love this video as well so give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below what is your favorite zephyr flavor or if you have any other suggestions on what flavor I should make and yeah if you want to become a member to get access to all my recipes you can do so today. I will leave all the links down below in my description box on how you can join our amazing cooking and baking community and yeah let's get started place your defrosted blackberries into a bowl and after a few hours once they're fully defrosted you want to blitz them with a hand blender until it's nice and smooth I usually sieve it through because I don't like the seeds but you can keep the seeds if you wanted to as well so just using a sieve and a spoon keep going until you have beautiful puree Then transfer the puree into your pot, add sugar and mix it all nice and well. We're going to cook our blackberry puree uh, for a couple of minutes until it thickens and the sugar fully melts. Then you want to transfer it into a bowl to fully cool down. And once everything is melted, you want to leave the mixture to cool down completely for a few hours. You can also put this into the fridge if you want to. Before we start making zephyr, we want to make sure everything is ready. Now into your stand mixer bowl, add your puree. Then you want to add your egg white. And we're going to start mixing this on medium speed at first. You want to whisk this for several minutes until the color starts to change. And we have whisked halfway through our meringue. Because we're going to be adding syrup later, we want to make sure we're ready for this. To make your syrup, you want to add water, sugar and glucose syrup inside. Okay. You then also want to add your agar agar and place everything onto the stove. You're going to cook this on a medium to low heat. You want to make sure that all your ingredients melt together and it creates a nice beautiful syrup. Don't be tempted to cook this um, very, very fast because you need to make sure that the syrup cooks and agar will activate after uh, the mixture starts to boil. So this can take from five minutes up to seven minutes uh, cooking on the medium speed. Um, you need to make sure that the mixture cooks to around 110 degrees Celsius or when you start to see that it becomes a bit sloppy. <laughs> so like a thicker consistency of um, like a yogurt, I would say, you know, that drips down. The mixture will bubble, which is absolutely normal. And agar will kind of become a bit brown in color. And that's when you know that your syrup is nearly done. Once it reaches that temperature or the consistency that you're looking for, like you can see here in the video, you want to take it off the heat. You want to turn on your stand mixer on high speed and start pouring your syrup on the side very, very slowly. You want to do this on the side so that your syrup doesn't touch the whisk by accident because if it will touch it by accident, it will go everywhere. So you have to be very, very careful. Once you've poured all your syrup, you're going to continue to whisk on high speed until you will see the mixture will double in size and cool down and become nice and firm. Make sure that you don't over whisk the mixture or it will become runny 
and the zephyr will not work anymore. So you really need to watch this step here and not leave the stand mix aside to make sure that you get nice stiff peaks. The mixture will also become different color, it will become a lot more paler than when you originally started and that is absolutely normal. Now take your piping bag lined with the star shaped nozzle or you can use any other nozzle that you like and place your mixture inside. You want to put all your mixture ideally into your piping bag. If you don't have enough then you can use two piping bags. As the agar agar sets at around 40 degrees celsius the mixture will start to set as well so you really need to work quickly here. You want to make sure the piping bag is sealed and then just start going around and piping these beautiful marshmallows. Start in one corner and then kind of round it up to create this beautiful flower shape. You can do any shapes you want, uh, it's up to you completely. And then once it's all ready, you're gonna leave it to set overnight or ideally for 24 hours so it hardens. This can happen faster for you or slower, depends on the humidity level and depends where you are. Now, once they're done, I do recommend adding a bit of icing sugar on top of each zephyr uh, because it will be very, very sticky. And using your hands, you can dip them in icing sugar as well. You want to peel first half of the zephyr and then glue it together with your second half. Take them off very nice and gentle and the both halves will glue easily together. And then you want to dip it back into the icing sugar. I have prepared a little bowl here where I've put my icing sugar so it's easy for me to dip my zephyr. And you just wanna go around and repeat the process until you've done your entire zephyr. Um, so this recipe will make 24 halves and 12 full large zephyrs like this. And here they are, beautiful blackberry zephyr. They look so pretty. I like this color, the shape, and just how adorable they are. So I'm just going to show you how they look inside. When you break it apart, it's quite chewy and gooey. Blackberry has a lot of uh, pectin in there, so the zephyr with this fruit makes it just so much better and easier to work with. It is very, very chewy inside, and the longer you leave it, the chewier it becomes. So we'll have a nice crust on top and then very soft middle, just like this. And yeah, I hope you try these. Enjoy.